Hi guys, this one's for all of y'all that are into flight simulators. This is a flight simulator at the United States Air Force Academy where they train the cadets how to fly this single engine prop plane. Now we're going to take a closer look at some of the cool things about this, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Very cool system, lots of screens walking around it. The whole thing's controlled by this computer over here and by an iPad. And we're going to show you how it so works. We are inside the airplane and we are getting ready to take off. So see how it starts to immediately turn left? That's because the engine blade is spinning to the left. And so you can use the brakes to control it until we see the airspeed come alive now. So once the airspeed comes alive, then you can use the rudders to control it. So you want a little bit of right rudder. Once we, we're watching the airspeed come up, and once we hit 63 knots, which is our rotate speed, we're going to slowly pull back on the nose, and the airplane will come up off the ground. From there, we're going to hold 10 degrees, goes high until this number comes up to um, 200 feet above the ground. The platform actually moves as you're making movements with the airplane. And then once we're that high, you're going to pitch the nose down some to get your airspeed to come up to 85 knots. So this is actual maps of the Colorado Springs area here. You can see the actual buildings that are in Colorado Springs that they've changed into a video game type of mode. So you're flying through the area that the kids are actually training and the cadets are training in. Dump the nose. So here we're taking and turning around, heading back towards the airfield. If you look out your right, you see left, you see nothing but ground. If you look out the right, you see nothing but sky. Very cool. So there's the runway. I turned a little tight, so I'm going to line it up just a little bit better here. We're going to come in for a landing. So this is called a touching go, is what I'm shooting for. Oh, give me a touching go. Um, so you're lining up on the runway, I'm pointing at the numbers and driving towards the numbers right now. And once I get it lined up nicely, I'm going to cut the power, keep driving, keep driving, and then I'm going to slowly just bring it back some. And the airplane's choosing to buck a little bit. Oh, so we hit the front gear, we bounced pretty hard. And then it settled, flaps go to 50. One, two, three, powerful. And he's taken off again. So this is the iPad that they control the whole system with. and They can do lots of different things, including changing your environmental conditions. So I'm going to zoom back out. He's going to go into his environmental conditions. And let's see what we're going to get ourselves here. First off, he's going to give us some... So, as you go down, you can adjust the winds. Um, other than the winds, you can come back down even a little further. You've got visibility, so if we take this down, we can make it real foggy outside. So see now you can't see anything. Or look over here; it got very, it got very foggy over there. Now the fog went away, and now the fog comes back. Yep. And then you can come down and create precipitation. So if we rain, okay. so you can say, "Hey, I'd like it to be snowing right now, moderately." And so now it's snowing pretty heavily. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's zoom in. Hey, there's snow falling. So that's absolutely heavy snow. If you go back to trace snow, now it's just a little bit of snow. You could set it to be raining. So not snow, but rain. And then you can enable lightning. And it'll start to lightning and flash. You can just trigger lightning strike or lightning hits. We'll disable that, turn the rain back off. You can create icing on different things. So icing on problems that would create problems for the airplane if it was to ice over, which in Colorado is potentially a problem, but we don't generally fly in weather. Uh, you can adjust the temperature. So right now it is uh, 22 degrees outside the aircraft. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. It's pretty accurate though. Uh, it's apparently the summer, so we're just gonna change that over to the winter. And once we swap it to winter, as Caitlin flies, it'll gradually change it into the full winter season. Um, and so you'll be able to see snow on the ground. And those are all the weather controls. We also can control different things in the aircraft, so like malfunctions. 
So you can create different malfunctions. So we could set the engine on fire if we wanted to right now or do whatever kinds of things to simulate malfunctions. Um, down to the left there actually is Colorado Springs International Airport. And there we go, you see the snow rendering in now. Yep. So the snow's rendered in. Colorado Springs is down there to the left. See the mountains over here on your right. And then, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much what it can do. That's pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm. So, any of y'all that decide to join the military and fly aircraft for a living, this is going to be part of your training regiment is actually flying a simulator that looks like this. Really cool stuff, really neat opportunity to get to come and see this and see it in action. Hope you find it you found it enjoyable and useful. So you're gonna cut the power, power bump, flaps go to full, and then you're gonna pitch the nose down. And then turn to 30 degrees angle on alert. How much nose down do I do? Uh, I think that's too seven, much. Seven degrees. So somewhere between five and seven. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Right there. Hold that. And just ride that turn. See the runway on the left? Uh, nope. I see your head. I don't see it, but... It's coming up on that left window right there. So we're shooting for okay. that far left runway. Far left runway. Yeah. Uh, and that big dark one? Yeah. Okay. So really good line right now. So flaps are good. Three lights. So you're gonna line up on the runway. We're coming up a little. We need to give us some power right now. So I'm I'm messing with the power right. because it's one less thing you gotta worry about to get us there. So right now, you just need to aim for the very end of the runway. Right. That's your goal. Just point to drive it towards the numbers you need. So you're a little off to the right, so you need to swing it in. Stick right or right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Right. And we're off the runway. Now pull back on the stick. Take off. Stop. So your two nose is too high, so bring the nose down. Bring the nose down. There you go. Very cool. Into the ground, apparently. <laughs> I was not Congratulations, sure to go that Dave. Way. You killed us all. I really 